Wait a minute. It's Madden NFL Hold up. And we'll see Christian Kirk. He's Something ain't right. Of the league. Fifth in receiving yards so far this season. It's the Jaguars and the Titans. Something ain't right here. What? Where the Seahawks at? Where the Seahawks at? Why am I the Jacksonville Jaguars? Why are we playing the Titans? Well, I assume you probably have a lot of questions about where the Seahawks franchise is at. And unfortunately, 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 I have bad news for you, man. I really do. Um, and it sucks for me, too, because I was starting to get somewhere in that series. I was starting to enjoy, like, players we had, all of that. But, because EA's fuck up, because they're always fucking up. They fucked up a lot of franchises just for logging in. So when I recorded the... I recorded a Rams one, a Rams episode. I recorded a Rams episode, the last one I recorded. And there was no audio, which it was, it was shitty. But when I went to go record that episode, I logged in during a time where the, the game was glitched out or something like that. And because of that, it fucked up my save, which is shitty. I know, but if you do have questions, go watch the video I posted 30 minutes before this one. A quick little explanation of what happened and what I plan to do. I mean, you could probably already assume what I plan to do. As Cisco, big sis, gets an interception. I plan to run this series with the Jaguars, you know. This is a team that's not very good. They're scraping to make the playoffs right now as we speak. And believe it or not, in this game, we're in the same situation. Win, and we're in. But I throw an interception to Kevin Byer. The situation is win, and I'm in. Did Kevin Byard even get two feet down? Yeah, because the damn animation, he got Dave fucking dragged anyway. But, yeah. We are Jacksonville. Because Jacksonville isn't very good. But somehow they have a chance of making the playoffs this season, which is pretty much a miracle for them. They're a good, young, rebuilding team. And I feel like since, you know, we're already halfway through the year, I switch it up, I guess, rather than just sitting and not recording any more Madden videos. Cause I actually, I, I enjoy recording these these franchise videos, man. It's it's very fun for me. So you know, we'll go to another team. You know, we do what we gotta do. Cause you know, if I do the Seahawks again, it's gonna be hard to replicate everything I did within a three-year span and make it the same. You know. So here we are with Jacksonville. We're going to learn the players. I simulated to week 18, you know, to try to even it out, you know. And if we make the playoffs, you know, that's fun. We make the playoffs. But we're here. If we don't make the playoffs, you know, we don't make the playoffs. We go to the offseason, and we get to rebuild in this team. Getting it under the trunk. Get it under the hood of the, uh, under the, hood of the car. I got ideas. And, you know, we have a superstar QB in T-Law. And, you know, we got some, some players here and there. But, you know, it's a work in progress. So that's pretty much my goal for this series. Is, you know, this is the series that's going to be running until Madden 24. Unless, you know, they somehow fix my Seahawks save. Then I'll obviously go back to that one. But for the meantime... We're, we're going down. We're going to the opposite side of the country, Jacksonville, Florida, to play some football. It's going to take some time getting used to this team, man. After, like, having a team where I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, we built something great. Where now we come to a save where 
We haven't built nothing. We don't know nobody. You know. We know we got a good QB on our hands. An up and coming running back. And an O line. One superstar O lineman. It's not quite DK Metcalf, Sheldon Griffin, Kenneth Walker, Miko Hardman. It's not quite that, but. But, you know, we got Etienne Jr., T Law. And that's all the only players I can confirm stay on this team for the rest of this this rebuild. ETN! You know, I'm glad we got another young running back. So we don't have to go hunt for one in the draft. We may pick one up, we may not. We may need a we're gonna need a two-headed monster, obviously. Ooh, Etienne, good run. Yeah, this game means a lot more to us because win and we're in. Win and we are in. Ooh. So it looks like I feel like from what I'm playing here, I feel like I've got a solid run block, but my pass block is where I'm lacking. You know we got the QB. That's weird, man. I wasn't able to make those throws with Sheldon Griffin, man. A rollout throw? I'm not used to be able to hit those, but we can hit them. We got a little bit of uh, an abilities. I haven't messed with them yet. I'll probably, I probably won't mess with anything until the off season. This ETN almost breaks the tackle, just to keep it how it is. You know, it's just as uh, formable as we can. Zay Jones, do you got the height? Are you my jump ball receiver? I was going to say, are you my DK? But you're definitely not DK, and you never will be. But you got height. You got some height, so you can be a jump ball guy. Because DK was some special, man. I, red zone threat. Anywhere down in this, in this red zone, and it's over for you. New playbook, new everything. We get it to Evan Engram, a player who definitely will not be here next season because I don't want him here next season. He can go. I don't think he's very good at all, to be completely honest with you. Are they shouting Duval? Shout out to the Jacksonville fans. You know, I'm I'm sure they didn't really give two dams about Doug Peterson anyway being their head coach because they got a ten times better head coach who's going to lead them to the playoffs. Hey, we love a little Super Wild Card weekend, man. That we love. To, I love to watch football, man. Love to be able to watch football all day. Hopefully, we get some good games. Speaking of the playoffs in real life, man. Teams are pretty much set, but there's still some teams who can make it in. Still some teams for the AFC and the NFC, which should lead to another good week. Uh, uh, a good weekend for us football watchers. Good weekend for us football watchers. This is reversing Malik Willis, who, oh, Derrick Henry just smoked us. Versus Malik Willis. So, we'll see what Malik Willis can do. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. 
Do ball. Do ball. Do ball. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to Let's see what we can do on this drive. Christian Kirk getting pressed. Damn you, Kevin Byard. Damn you. Trevor Lawrence is actually developing into a very good QB. I actually want Jacksonville to make the playoffs over, who was it, the Titans? I want them to win their division. I would love to see what Jacksonville can do in the playoffs. They win their division. It'd definitely be a fun watch. A Luacon. Man. If y'all know about a Luacon, y'all know, man. If you was with me when I was doing the Falcons rebuild, a Luacon and Deion Jones in the middle was the most disgusting combination you ever seen. These boys right here were hitters. We loved every second of it. Sack. We get a sack, sack, sack. And they get a deep hit on a pass. I'm going to call a timeout. Expect pass. No pass coverage. Here we go. Campbell with a pick. Tried to hit a dead leg. I don't know where Malik Wilson was going with the football. But we'll take it. Oh, this could be a blitz. This this is definitely a blitz. Etienne. Try to get out of bounds. I can't. We got to call a timeout. Etienne, Etienne. Big Junior. Why did I do that? That may be a P.I. Not a P.I. Uh, roughing the passer, hopefully. Yep. Thank you, Alani Johnson. Ooh, I'm immune to pressure. That's what I like to see because they got a... They got a guy out there who can rush the passer, Jeffrey Simmons. Oh my, I did it again. X was open too, bro. X was literally open, and I threw it to Christian Kirk again. What a poor showing out for me at the start. Here's Willis. Over the middle in the hands of Burks. And call a timeout. First down here as they move in nope. field goal range as well inside the 25. Hey, we get it. No inside our field goal range, yeah. Let's let's get skip right over half time. Let's get and get back to the action. 20 yards per carry. Let's get Etienne going a little bit more, and then we got to stop. I'm more worried about Derrick Henry, if anything. Defend Derrick Henry outside run. I want Malik Willis to pass the football personally. Agnew in the back. He's going to let that one slide away. T-Law playing like ass, but that's definitely because of me. I will no longer be throwing at Kevin Byard, who's got pick artists in deep zone KO. Oh, Etienne is a beast. Etienne is a beast! Another thing I did, I did try to remember the settings as best as I could and put them back on. The read man is all the way out there. This is a three-man rush. I don't even need a read option. That's going to be a damn hold. BS call, man. 
Walker Little. Come on, man. So it's the big left tackle who gets PA crossers. PA crossers. Executing the block well, he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab it. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So this is another blitz. After the incompletion for second down. Now Lawrence. T Law. Could, could not put it where I needed it to be. Christian Kirk! First down! Let's go, Kirk. Let's go, Kirk. CK, CK! I gotta come up with nicknames for these players. CK is definitely gonna be Christian Kirk. No one even blocked that dude, Jeffrey Simmons, bro. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Lawrence will throw. Stick in there and deliver a ball, Trevor. Marvin Jones gets a spin move. Good play. Christian Kirk once again. Precision. Get rid of it, Law. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop if someone's over 80%. They're not going to hold that number. Hey, the That's difference it. is they got a new man under the hood. It just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. Nothing is there. It's gonna be a fucking grounding. Why did I run that far behind? What did I think I was gonna be able to hit a pass from back there? I'm a dumbass. You have to get outside of that tackle to tackle box, right? Get out there and then you can do it legally, but he wasn't able to. And I'm gonna miss the fucking field goal. Holy smokes. This is what happens when you don't play Madden for a couple days. You play like ass. You play like straight ass. I'm horrible. Contain Derrick Henry. Robert Woods in the middle of the field. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a throw here to his running back. Wow, I can't believe we actually got the tackle. Down to the edge of the red zone. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Is this another outside run? From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And finding the tight end. Oh. Yeah, the I love when it switches me onto the wrong play. Devin Lloyd. He's fast, if I'm not mistaken. Austin Hooper is on the Tennessee Titans. Back now in Jacksonville. I don't know what he was doing, but it wasn't working. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and Let's get into position with Cisco. Right back to the air with Willis. Escaping the pressure right. They juked him. 
He didn't juke nobody. Blitz. Press. I don't know why I just said expect pass, but whatever. And he delivers a dime in the back of the end zone. Nick Westbrook. Akine. Nick Westbrook Akine. Uh, mm, I'm playing so bad. Talk about letting down an entire fan base franchise. <laughs> I, I get into a win and we're in the playoffs game and I absolutely fucking botched the job. And it's all coming down to this, hasn't it? Final week of the regular season. As this year's playoffs play out anything like the regular season has gone, could be in for a wild and fun month of January. And we can break the rules because we can look ahead. All right, there's not a coach out there that's ever said to their team, all right, let's look three, three weeks down the road. It's always right here, right now. Forget that. Think about what the playoffs are going to look like. The teams that we see... That Travis Etienne is going to be very get, good for this team. matchups. <laughs> ETN once more. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Tennessee is actually one of the worst teams in the league, by the way. And we're getting smoked because I suck ass at passing, and I keep on throwing. At, I keep throwing at Kevin Byard. Here's Lawrence to throw. And I did that shit again too. I did it again. No, no regard for anything. I did that shit again. He ain't gonna stop me either. I do it again. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Lawrence. And Ingram holds it in. Evan Ingram. I don't like you to be honest. But good catch, buddy. Third down, give him twenty-five yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first. Yep, we go. Here we go. We out, we out, we out, we out. Etienne. Open again, bro. Etienne is a monster. Etienne is a monster. This O line is killer too, man. This is different. Getting a hundred yard game with Kenneth Walker would be a, a, a like a, a, a hope. Running with this line though. It gives me hope. They got me there. We're going to go to the two-minute warning now. But let's see if Etienne, too, got it like that. No huddle. One yard line. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Etienne. All right, here we go. Fourth and goal. Two yard line. You know we're going for it. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here we go, gotta have it. Lawrence. Etienne! Got his man, it's Who else? Who else but number one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bang. Duval. Do ball. Let's go. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it was Travis Etienne on the touchdown reception capping the drive. And this will not be returned. I believed in Etienne. And he came through. Here we go. It's going to be one of the biggest defensive drives of the year. And he throws it out. 
throws it out of bounds. Oh, yeah. But I think if Mike Roy, the head coach, has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. A minute left. Are they going to go no huddle? They are going to go no huddle, and I'm going to stick to man to man. Malik Willis is delivering dimes in the clutch. Are you serious? Malik Willis is delivering dimes in the clutch? There ain't no way. Are they going to start running the ball? Are you serious? No way they run the ball. Timeout. Three tight ends. I have to blitz. Timeout. Oh man, this is not ideal for us. Two running back set. Give me cover three seam. Play underneath. I'm bringing Cisco down. I don't care because if we give this up, it don't matter. Let him score. Let him score. Let him score. That's the play. That's the play. We let we let Derrick Henry score. We let him score. We if if he just sat down, they win the game. But the CPU isn't that wise, so we let him score. We let him score. Because guess what? Gives us some more time to kick, to go get a touchdown. Here we go. Agnew, bring me a good field position. And he did just that. 30-yard line, 28 seconds, one timeout. Are they blitzing? Are they insane? Bro, he was open. He was open. They blundered the defense. They blundered the defense. And we messed up. They blundered the defense and we messed up. Second and third and ten. They want me to go Hail Mary. I'm not there just yet. I'm not there just yet. I'm not there just yet. Tight end attack. And, that's exactly what they did. and this is this another blitz? No, it isn't. Christian Kirk, win a jump ball. Fourth and ten. I need a first down more than anything. I don't need a hail mary yet. I have one timeout. Shotgun pass. I need a first down more than anything. Let's see, Do the, is there a blunder in the defense anywhere? Nope, it's just we missed the throw and that's the game. And that's it. We lose the playoffs and we go into the offseason. Uh, well, y'all, I'm not... I don't got much to say. We take over a new team, we lose the first game. Not very good. But the offseason is here, obviously. This is week 18, so we're going to have a big offseason. And next next season, I'm predicting playoffs, obviously. But until then, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.